Susan here again. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it has been requested of me that I do a feature video on our stereo that we installed. Uh, I will leave a link in the description box to my unboxing of this stereo where I discuss, you know, what features it has and etc. And um, I thought, who better to show you the features than my hubby, Kevy of Kevy's RC and Music. A link will be in the description box to his channel in case you haven't checked that out yet. Um, I would suggest you do that. He's got a lot of stuff up there you're going to be interested in. We do have an install video too. We have an install video on Kevy's channel, so you're going to want to see that too. So anyway, without further ado, here is hubby Kevy. Hello! <laughs> He's played with this stereo more than I have. Um, so he's better to uh, show you the features um, and what it can do. Take away Kevy. Okay, I'm not going to go through everything, obviously, just because I haven't gone through every single little thing. We're going to definitely have to kill the volume on this, though. All right, so... There's a lot to this stereo, but pretty easy otherwise. Right now there's a CD in there, so just hit the eject button. Slot load CD player, of course, which is kind of awesome. Anyhow, so these memory sections, one, two, three, four, five, and six, these are your favorites for your radio. Now you've got a source button that says no disc, so press the source button. iPod, Bluetooth, of course no device. It's going to try and read Pandora doesn't exist not, not for subscribed. us yeah if you um, if you're subscribed you got it's all these connected. different types of uh, radio services spotify, spotify okay bluetooth main audio. bluetooth audio auxiliary okay um, you do have an auxiliary port here uh, as well as usb now the usb that's for any of your usb memory sticks that you whacked a chunk load of mp3s onto so you don't even have to use the cd player if you uh, want to use your USB stick instead. Uh, but if you want to play anything off the AUX port, you do have an AUX port here and a little more hide stuff. It all lights up. It's kind of cool. So then you got FM, of course. And then if you press it again, AM, which who listens to AM anymore? I don't think we have any AM stations around. Um, so, anyhow, just using the source button. If you push and hold on the source button, it will actually turn the power off to the stereo completely. Um, now, over here you've got EQ uh, and bass, so you press it, you can go flat response, press it again, driven 3, driven 2, 1, hard rock, hip hop, so different musical settings for different sounds, pop several genres, user, so something you've programmed yourself, classical, all right, back to the flat. Now, here you've got your forward and backward buttons, which do control your CD, but when you're on the radio, it controls your radio. It will scan frontwards and backwards for your radio. So if you find a station you like, um, just push and hold on the corresponding number, and until it beeps and it'll give you a station. So let's uh, go through this. Okay, so 92.70. So I'll put it in six because there's nothing in here for me anyway. So push and hold. Memory. It's going to go in six. Done. Okay, five, six. That easy. Okay. Um, in the menu, push and hold. Gets you into the EQ settings. Also changes your color background too. So under EQ setting, just rotate it, audio control, sound effect, display, color. This is going through the menus, Bluetooth mode, remote app, system, clock, English, and so on. So let's get out of there for a second, go back in. So in the EQ setting, push the button in once, preset EQ, easy EQ. Now this is where you can dictate the levels of your subwoofer, if you happen to have one, which we don't. Bass level, mid, treble, and so on. Then you got your pro equalizer. That gets a little more sophisticated. 
because then you're going by the Hertz scale on everything. Okay. Now if you want to just escape back, just push the button over here. Should escape you back. There we go. So audio control. Bass boost, loudness, subwoofer level, subwoofer set, fader, front to back, balance, left and right, volume adjust. Okay, you can actually pre-boost the volume up higher, and then you can actually get a little bit more snot out of this thing. Okay? So watch your speakers if they're factory cheapy speakers. Yeah, you might not want to use that feature. <laughs> amp gain, if you have an amp, set your amp gain speaker size as well and anything is just select and push the center button to get into it front rear subwoofer etc okay pretty simple stuff sound effect so sound response sound lift so you can lift the sound more volume linked EQ so the more you turn your volume up the more all your EQ settings go up in their pattern of what you set your EQ for uh, so it can get quite loud okay and so on and, but even that's the same thing on or off so if you want to turn it on or middle or low it's up to you high some features will let you just go around the dial others you got to back up to display So you got the dimmer. Now, everybody has a dimmer knob on their car somewhere for dimming your, your main lights. Um, this is a similar idea. Uh, I leave mine on automatic though, but you can turn it off so things can get like really low and ew. I'd rather see my stereo, thanks. Um, so we'll go off. Brightness control, okay, daytime view, nighttime dims it down more and it changes your color as well which depends on other settings, of course, that we'll have to get to. Text scroll, it's for um, scroll automatically, so it'll give you like the, the name of the song or whatever type of thing. Scrolling off, it just stays there stationary and it doesn't ever scroll. Um, scroll once, automatic. I like automatic, it just does it. In. color this is for your color of your outside bars your inside now you can go with a preset if you want or day color night color okay so zone one it flashes where zone one actually is okay zone two okay so you got two basic zones there so let's try zone two Red, green, blue. And you can turn the level up to like 31 or cut it right back. It's up to you. And of course, you can go more red if you wanted to. Zone 1, same deal. Okay? Night color, if you want to use the night color. Color guide. Two. Tuner setting, radio timer, off, weekly, this is a feature I haven't played with, Bluetooth mode, phone select. Now, this thing can handle up to two uh, phones at once, whether they're Android or Apple, doesn't matter as long as they got Bluetooth. And uh, you can have it connected to this for hands-free so you can stop getting busted by the cops. Um, hands-free is actually wonderful. I really love the hands-free because it goes right through your stereo. Once you receive a call, you hear it ring, it shuts down your radio or your CD on you. Um, then you can just push the button to answer it and start yakking and wherever you've placed your mic we've placed ours up on the dash over here and uh, this way it's closer to us now generally most people only have the microphone 
um, up near their head on the left side here because it's usually just the driver, right? But in our case, we have two phones. We connect both to this. Sometimes I'm yakking, sometimes she's yakking. So we need the mic more centralized, okay? Audio select. So that's for my iPhone, Susan's iPhone, okay? <laughs> Remote app, have no idea other than if there is an app you can download to your phone and control the stereo by your phone, which is the whole point of you should be hands-free and not screwing with your phone. So I would probably leave the app alone, okay? But if you must, you must. Uh, system, key beep, that's this beeping that you're hearing. Um, so you can have it on or off. That sucks, I like it on. <laughs> Source select. AM, Pandora. So you can decide which one of these you're gonna have for your source select. I want FM, so I'm gonna select it, it's on. So when my CD comes out, it should automatically go back to my FM radio. That's the idea, okay? So that's selected. Firmware update. Um, if there's updates, you can punch in your model number of your stereo on the JVC website, see if there's any firmware updates. Um, a few people I've recorded have um, mentioned a few bugs that I've seen videos on. We haven't run across any of those bugs, so I'm going to say fluke. <laughs> but you can update the firmware on this thing nonetheless if you need to, and if they have it on the website available, you're good to rock. Um, so that means you're going to have to bring a laptop into the car and probably just plug in to your USB port in order to do that. Factory reset totally wipes out any settings you've done and zeroes it all out. Okay, we're not touching that. Okay, so clock settings. This is for setting your date and time. So you just push the button and clock adjust comes up. Clock display. Okay, so we clock display, off or on. I want the display on. So if you want to adjust the time and date, you just push the button, you can do it there. Pretty simple. Um, English, preferred language. They do have a few languages to choose from. Okay, English, of course, is what we use. Or you can go Albanola. Demo mode. The radio, if I remember right, came in demo mode, yeah. um, so you have to turn demo mode off. Yeah. Um, which is like turn this and then just select off, so rotate to off, or put it back on if you want, but I think off would be more suitable if you want to do anything. So, it's off. Okay, backing out of there. <coughs> now, if you have something going, Oh, that must be okay. Rocks on stations. Oh, it's name of the song. Yeah, beginning. <laughs> Beat didn't quite make it there. Um, on, kiss. on kiss. There you go. Um, That's the scrolling. <laughs> if you give the menu a quick click, um, a lot of songs will actually do like a disco dance uh, of the lights. Um, you can also. quick click it's waiting so it's trying to see if the song can support the disco thing I guess <laughs> sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't depends on the song right you better luck with CDs though CDs actually do it a lot better and it flashes different colors of your thing and it's like kind of really cool or you can just hit the button again and of course it'll turn that feature off Now, when the disco lights run, one thing I did find out is you lose access to your time. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you want your time back on, pop the button again, 
turn off the disco show, and uh, you get your clock back. That's pretty much about it as far as the main stereo and how to set things up goes. Um, furtherance to this would be, you know, if we had a couple power amps, subwoofers, better quality speakers in the car <laughs> someday, um, then that, we could always show you guys, you know, how to do all that stuff. But I'm not into subwoofers and stuff just, like that or power just, amps. Just so. a little Toyota Echo. <laughs> yeah, it bounces enough as it is with, with this car. It's like the doors vibrate. And you might as well think there's a sub box in here because you know, there ain't. But it's yeah. a little peanut car. Now, when you want to make a call, um, you push and hold the button, okay, and uh, call Subi. Calling Subi. So now it's going to call her phone. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, I guess we can get away with it. She just manually dialed, dialed me. Yeah. <laughs> Stop laughing and talk, would you? Like, come on, really. What? What? There you go. Hello, hello, hello. hello. It works. Right. So there you go. Um, so that, that's the idea behind it with that, but probably not a good idea to call each other in the car I nope. mean, you're sitting beside each other. So no, hello. so there's echo reverb and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Now, when you're in the auxiliary mode, of course, it'll still keep going. When you shut the key off, everything it powers down. Tears down, yeah. Okay. Now, <clears throat> when you go to start your car, on the other hand, it'll cycle. Yeah. It'll cycle the stereo, which all stereos do. So now it's got to reboot the stereo again because I just fired up the car. So if you're talking to somebody and then you're going to park somewhere. And wait for your wife in the store. <laughs> yeah, or you don't want to waste gas. Just turn your engine off by going back one click to your auxiliary mode. And you can keep your conversation going with your friend and not waste any money on gas. So, which is kind of a nice little thing. So anyways, I did something here. Oh, there we go. There you go. So, Get out of waiting. <laughs> yes. So that that's your basics on this stereo. It's not very complicated, you know. It does do a lot, though. It does. It does do quite a lot uh, for the money. I mean, the sound is really good. Um, we may do a sound test video. What I'll have to do is put a couple of my own songs onto a CD. Yeah. And um, you can hear what the, the sound is like. I mean, quality is, you know only going to be so much on a YouTube video because even they compress our stuff big time but at least you'll get a general idea but what I can tell you is we got some little puny little four inch speakers or five inch speakers in this car I think they're five inch yeah. um, right up here for in sure corners. the doors have fives <laughs> so we probably got fours on the and deck and little ones in the door down there um, the once That's you get it. the EQ set up to the taste of your favorite music it's wonderful, like even in a car like this. This car only has four speakers. Two in the front doors, two on the dashboard, and nothing in the back. So your passengers have to put up with whatever they get to hear in the back. Which I plan to remedy that situation because I miss having back speakers thumping at my brain. Um, but eventually I will upgrade all the speakers in here someday. I just don't know when. But the sound quality for the stock Toyota speakers is actually really, really good. Um, our stock stereo was like a cassette deck. I mean, this is a 2005. Yeah. And it was cassette deck with optional CD, and I was not prepared to spend $900, and I'm not kidding you, that's what Toyota wanted, I talked to them, for a friggin' CD module. So we went and spent less than $200 and got the glory god of stereos uh, from JVC. Now, they do have, like, Kenwood and other brands that are just as nice and other features. Um, but... It is a two-din stereo, yes, it is which two is the opening space, right? right. Okay, yeah. it's it's not one of those little halfers that you got to get, yeah, like, like the, a the, shelf the, thing underneath. Yeah, like the stock stereo took up the entire area here. I had to trim this one out 
with um these are actually binder paper keepers yep. that i cut up and uh just to fit hide, in just to hide the ugliness but um in in some cars this is going to be a perfect fit yeah. and there's just you know, a there's, little, there, there's enough of a gap here on the top yeah um that like you better be paying attention to your cds because otherwise you're going to shove them right down in and drop yeah. them um but you can always figure out a way to seal that but I mean, it's not a 100% perfect fit in this car. And I did look online to see if there was some some sort of it's like, like a, a trim, frame. trim package, yeah. But the thing is, there's no trim package because this is completely flush down here. So there's nothing for that. So yeah, either you put Fixing up with a little bit sides. of ugliness or do what my wife did and, you know, take some binder plastic and cut it and some yeah. double-sided sticky tape and put yeah. one on each side and actually looks really yeah, nice. It looks okay. Uh, if I didn't mention it, you wouldn't notice. Exactly. And uh, like there are a lot of cars out there, even small like ours, that this stereo is the exact perfect size for. And mm -hmm. same with pickup trucks and so on, that will be the exact or, size. Or they have a trim package yeah. for that yeah. but vehicle. But with, this with, one just With didn't. a lot of the, the vehicles now, um, it's become pretty much a standard with this big square thing if you do have it tuned in, because yeah. um, of people who want DVD players mm -hmm. and they pull out and they go and then and, then, and, then, and you got a screen right in your face so at least yeah. your companion beside you can watch TV and you shouldn't be. Yeah, um, you shouldn't. Well, it's distracting. Being well, of course it is. There, so, you know, yeah. but then they got ones with little small DVD players built right into the thing. You can That's... actually take a little stink peek once in a while. Um, but wouldn't recommend it. No. So that's the reason why they're making them like seven Big. inches, yeah. but this is not quite. Um, so anyways, it, it's fine. It doesn't make a difference. Um, and it is an awesome stereo. There's loads of features. Um, the back end of this thing is just filled with bus ports for subwoofers and amps <laughs> and all that other jazz and... It's like, oh my gosh, it's like we don't even need most, well, we don't even need any of it ourselves, but, Not right now, anyway. um, you know, so there you go. That's, uh, that's what I've got to tell you yeah. uh, on the stereo. And Thank you for that, because you, know. you, like I said, you've played with it more than I have. Yeah. And the bonus is, once you pair the phones, they stay they paired. They automatically reconnect every time you get in the car with the phone. You're yeah. You're connected. Like right now, you'll see on my screen a little headphone set that yeah. means Bluetooth in this case. Yeah. Yeah. If the headphone thing shows up at the top, yeah. it means that you're connected to the car. Yeah. But if you go into Bluetooth, you'll see here, I've got different things that are available to me to connect to. You know, this is the stereo, the KW. KW, yeah. You know, this is her um, Bluetooth speaker and the shield. I don't remember what that is. I was. don't know what the shield is. It's, it's on mine, too. It's on one of our devices. <laughs> um, but, yeah, even if you took off Bluetooth, you can, you know, turn Bluetooth back on and wait for a few minutes, and it reconnects, and away you go. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the range is outside of the car, but, you know, the deal is, is you're supposed to be in the car talking because that's where it's going to go to. I so. have, I have a... Actually, my phone has connected from in there. Yeah, so you're talking 15 feet yeah. easily. You know, by the time you get in the house and to the kitchen table where she leaves her I've, phone. I've gone to make a call, and Kev's been in the car and had the car it. on, and it's like, ah! Then I get her car on the conversation, which <laughs> yeah. actually happened about a week or two ago, and she was talking to the pastor, and it's like, what is going on? I didn't make any calls. I don't <laughs> Oh. Trying to have a conversation there. Huh? there we go. Hey, shut the car off. Kick you back over. Um, so yeah, it, and you can actually disengage the stereo. Yeah. Uh, anytime you want during your call. So if you want to make it private, you can just hit your little speaker button. Yeah. And make the conversation private. It comes up with a list. Do you want to go to the car stereo? Do you want it private? Do you want yeah. a speakerphone? Yeah. Or so, hit, hit yeah. the speakerphone icon for Bluetooth. Um, it'll just unlight it and put you on private mode, and then way you go so all in all it's a great stereo yeah i would highly yeah. recommend this one yeah my phone is set as the priority phone and that's the thing with the two phones you got to decide kind of like who's going to be the priority and right now mine's the priority but it's easy enough to you know just that's yeah, my phone Kevin's. And Susan's. that's her so now <laughs> she'll be the priority yeah or rather she was <laughs> <laughs> actually it defaults right back to me yeah 
but it'll stay priority for as long as that's active. Otherwise, turn it off and everything's back to default. All righty. So. Well, thank you for the explanation, Kevy. No problem. And uh, hope that answers your questions. Um, thank you very much for watching. And again, One. check the description box for the links. Um, all kinds yeah. of things like to Kevy's channel. To and the... she'll put a link in the video for you to go check out the specs on the stereo. Yes. Even, yes. I don't remember how many watts per channel it is. Yeah. Someone's going to ask, so there's your answer now. <laughs> all the techie check the stuff. the description box. <laughs> you get... And you can probably download a copy of the manual for free, I'm sure. I, uh, yeah, I believe you can. Yeah. I think so I did even, when so I was researching yeah, this one. So I wanted even, to find You don't out. even have to own the stereo and you can research it. You know, awesome. you got to love the internet for that. Yep. You know, manufacturers <laughs> are so nice nowadays. It's crazy. Well, most of them are anyway. Okay. So thanks again. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.